Is, is it a football day? I don't have any football It's Tuesday. Boys. It's Tuesday. It's time it's to Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's election day. Nice. I try not to break anything. <laughs> I got a six. Uh, that means we're going to talk about what football players you should play this week in your fantasy football league. Speaking of, we're like on a new webcam. <laughs> Or not really new, it's just old. Or an old webcam. You have to wear like, a gray sweatshirt. Huddle over for it. Rules. Hike. Go along. All right, so five guys you should drop, five guys you should pick up <laughs> if you want to win your league season of weeks. Do it. Points. Okay, so I'm really concerned about the first guy I think you should drop. Okay. I will tell you whether or not you should. CJ Anderson. You should definitely drop CJ Anderson. Wait, I can't. You should. Why can't you? I think he's locked. You play in the worst league in the world. <laughs> he's that injured. One, the other one. He's injured. You should be able to cut him out. Even if he's like one of the guys life. I've had for three years, so I can't. <laughs> like yelling. He was secret. bad beforehand. You can be gone. Oh, no. All right. What about the Bengals? The whole team, <laughs> or just the defense? I think the defense. The but defense. How do you feel about the rest? You should. Of the you could probably cut him. You should never ever hold on to a defense. You can just pick him up pick up one every week. What about Kanael Davis? Niall Davis? Yes, you should cut Niall Davis. Did you? Especially because Spencer Ware's coming back and Turk Hendrick West was bad last week, but still, I don't think that Niall Davis is going to get any carries that matter. So he's just going to go home and have Kanoa or Sides. <laughs> Charlie Cantanzaro? <Please>. Chandler? <laughs> Is it Chandler? Well, I know it's Captain Zaro because my sister-in-law's sister's married last name is Canton Zaro. Mm. So that's something I actually know. Now, what I don't know is... Did you is have a problem with somebody's th- last name last yeah, year? that's actually the same sister-in-law's friend, uh, Michelle Tannehill. This is Jennifer Ah, Tannehill. Uh, Tannehill. Yeah. So you have, like, a bunch of family football friends. I have friends. all the people. All right, so Chandler Canton Zaro. Yes. You could cut him. He's all just right. a kicker. Sorry, Jennifer. So far, you really, like, there hasn't been any, like, I was, like, so blown away by I think this is Cameron Meredith. Can you cut Cameron Meredith? Is that is a good question. Yes, he is on the Bears. I'd say if there was another wide receiver that uh, you felt strongly about, you could definitely pick him up. I, I do think, though, he might have a, a decent game against Tampa this week. So the Bears are back on the Sunday schedule. If you are deep, you know, if you have like a you know like a, a deep pool of wide receivers, you could probably dump them. Uh, but if you know if it's pretty thin, depending on what league you play in, you should probably hold on. How's that? If you're playing a PPR, probably more so than regular standard. All right, five guys you should you should consider picking up this week. A roll of the dice, if you will. Made Oops. of rock, by the way. You could get. I roll a that. six again. Paul Perkins, which is a great name. Oh, it's so fun. Paul He's Perkins has pancakes. He doesn't have pancakes. How do you know? He might have had pancakes. Uh, he's a rookie. He plays for the Giants. He played a little bit more uh, than he has uh, previous, you know, uh, all season long. And now uh, looks like he's t- he's cutting into Rashad Jennings' workload. I'm not Rashad's no, nephew. No, <laughs> not related to a Rashad. Did we talk about this last week? How no, Alicia we did not. Rashad. Uh, no, no, not. Alicia okay. Rashad is sister JJ of Jimmy Allen. <laughs> she had, I had to get it in there. Yeah, I did. J.J. Nelson, he's going to be a starting wide receiver for the Cardinals. So don't worry about John Brown. Cardinals. Yes, that's the Cardinals. Dave! He's so sporty. <laughs> that's his name. Yes. Uh, you can. You should definitely pick him up. If you're a John Brown owner or even a Michael Floyd owner, and you're like, why am I still? Why do I still have both these guys? Go get J.J. Go JJ. get J.J. Nelson. He'll get you six on Sunday. Hey, that's almost as good as seven. I think I've talked about Deion Lewis since, I don't know, like March. Um this is the week that Dion Lewis might be coming back. What? March. I just it's a random month. That's <laughs> maybe September. Okay. How's that? Better. Dion Lewis might be coming back and he's gonna be playing for the Patriots and he's a good running back. And Michelle, I hope you're paying attention because Dion Lewis I... is a guy. I'll write it down. Dion Lewis. There you go. Get him. Capri Bibbs. How about that for what a, a fun minute? one? Is that his birth certificate <laughs> name? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, sweet Lenny. I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's on my birth certificate. Capri Bibbs is actually my real name. <laughs> Found me out. Anyway, uh, what's his name? Devontae Booker's bad, and Capri Bibbs is Capri better. Bibbs. I feel like that's so uh, weird because it's like Capri. Well, it's like a, it's, it's like, like a combination of a it's pant like styles. Short overalls. Well, uh, there's the Bibbs, and then there's like the Capri. A bib, bib. 
Well, then there's the capri jeans. It's fashionable, capri man. Capri pants and bibs. Do you remember what bibs are? Are they overalls? Yes, okay. So They're capri like bibs. bibs like so if you think about bibs. it, it's like capri bibs are like... Like, like you're wearing childhood pants when but you are a man. they're short. So it looks right. like... So it's an H. And that's it's not, pretty much an H. Not how you draw that. Oh, like a capri... Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's capri <laughs> bibs. He's a guy you should consider bibs. picking up. I like and it as one word. Lastly, and I, I must be just picking up because these guys have fabulous names. Austin Hooper. Who? Who is not a basketball player. He should be. That's so sad. Hooper. That'd be a rat. I mean, like... I know a Hooper. Really? I know everybody. There's a Mr. Hooper in Sesame Street who died. Oh. And do you remember? No, probably not. I was watching Friends. Parenting. <laughs> Go, Mom. Up. I watched Sesame Street as a kid. I watched Friends. She watched Friends. Roll the six. My mom brought me that rock from Arkansas. This rock and die. Seriously, it could injure a human. Do you hear that? That's, that's Michelle's fantasy team. <laughs> Anyhow, Austin Hooper, if you need a tight end this week because Eric Ebron and a couple others are going to be out because of uh, week-long buys, they're going on vacation. They're going to San Diego. They're just going to go kicking in San Diego because it's by the border of Mexico, right? Sure. Isn't that kind of... I have no idea. I thought Mexico only fell through... <laughs> I didn't... Come on, I, I want to hear your geography. Come on, come on. <laughs> nope. Come on! I was just thinking Texas. Texas I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna to draw the to San Francisco board. And then I thought Diego about the here. fact that I lived in LA for a little while, and I definitely think I'm wrong. San Diego is actually pretty close to Mexico. Mexico news. It's, I mean, you know, not I mean, news not like for regular exactly people. On the border, but it's, it's close. For me. I think. I'm almost sure it's close. Somebody. We're Illinois people, and she lived in LA, but she didn't leave her apartment, so I mean, she doesn't I really know. Went on a walk every day. Around her apartment. I didn't walk to Mexico. All right. Well, those are the five guys. Austin Hooper, Capri Bibbs, Dion Lewis, J.J. Nelson, and Paul Perkins. Pick up hey. those five if you want to win. Win the World Series. If you want to win the World Series. I don't, don't forget to vote. I don't forget to wear your sweats. I voted they didn't give me a sticker. But they gave her that cool sweatshirt. They, Bye. They actually didn't. Yes, they did. I had bought that from Target. No, they, no, they gave it to you. <laughs> Boop. Oh. I'm still going. <laughs>